Yo, yo, what's going on out there, fight world? It's your boy Money back with another one, fam. And this one here is on three future Hall of Fame in this fight game. We have Terrence T. Boy Crawford, the three division world champion, the former undisputed world champion, and the current WO welterweight world champion. We have Earl the True Spence Jr., the king of the welterweight division, the WBC, the IBF, and the Super WA unified world champion. And then we have the great Andre Ward, the undefeated two division world champion, who was left out on top of the pound for pound list and one of the greatest to ever do it. Now, Andre Ward has came out and praised Earl the True Spence Jr. I repeat, Andre Ward came out and praised Earl the True Spence Jr. Giving him his just doing his credit for bouncing back from everything he been through, right? From the car crash, people counting him out, doubting him, and then him coming back, winning another title, putting himself in position to fight Turnsburg Crawford for undisputed at the welterweight division. He said Earl the True Spence Jr. is a man on a mission. He's very relentless, and he give him all his credit and praise him, and hopefully he write a book one day because he has a story to tell. A story to tell. Now, Andre Ward is one of my favorite fighters to ever lace him up. I got on his ass about, you know, the hating on Canelo Alvarez, but it don't take away from Dre Ward being his word and him being a man standing on what he believe and what he feel, right? Now, it's all facts about what Earl Spence did. All facts. You know what I'm saying? Any other person that probably went through what EJ went through probably would have gave up on the sport of boxing. Probably won't be the same right now today. That's why I say Earl Spence is the king of the welterweight division. The dude is so mentally tough. It's crazy, bro. It's crazy. He worked himself back in shape after a car crash that would have finished a lot of people's careers. Um, if not physically, then mentally. If not physically, then mentally. There's a lot of people out there that hate on Earl Spence talking about they don't know what he can take because of the car crash. But the man been off the car crash and he been showing y'all that he's a bad motherfucker and that he's back at the welterweight division after going out there defeating a hard punch in Danny Garcia, then defeating a world champion and your Dennis Ugas taking the Super WBA title after your Dennis Ugas went out there and beat Manny Pacquiao. Now, Andre Ward also praised turns but Crawford. He always get Crawford's just due, right? We all know Crawford's ESPN fighter. We all know Dre worked for ESPN. But one thing I will say about Dre is he always stayed consistent about Earl Spence and Terrence Crawford. He never, ever picked the side. He always stayed in the middle. And he, like you said, he don't get in the business of politics the way he get Crawford um, advice or give Earl advice. And that's what I respect about him. Now, of course, he go praise Terrence Bill Crawford. Another bad man, man. Three-division world champion, former undisputed, current WBO welterweight world champion, the number two welterweight in the world, um, arguably the number one pound-for-pound pound fighter in a lot of people's eyes. You know what I'm saying? If he ain't number one on, on, on your record, he got to be at least top three. You feel me? Terrence Bill Crawford is a bad boy. You never heard Monty Brown discredit that man for his skill sets and his accolades. Ever. Ever. You know what I'm saying? And his hard work and his dedication. The boy stand in the gym, put the hard work in, and you got to... You know what I'm saying? Um, commend that. When you got somebody like Terrence Bud Crawford, stay focused and keep his eyes on the prize. Now, this is the fight that we all going to get. You understand? This is the fight that we all want. Andre Ward came out of his mouth and said, it looked like it's going down, that it's going to happen. You know what I'm saying? Like I said earlier, he said he don't give advice to style of politics, but both of these dudes are ready. He say it is that Hagler Hearn fight. <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? Not to the to the stand of Hagler Hearn, but it's Earl Spencer turns Bud Crawford, but it's on the level for us the magnitude, for us the anticipation, for us the skills, for us both guys being in a prime, both being undefeated, both don't know how to take no for an answer. You understand what I'm saying? And both of them ain't gonna give an inch. You hit me, I'ma want it back. You know what I'm saying? You hit me, I'ma want it back. We know once Bud get hit, he want his lick back. Once EJ get hit, he want his lick back. And both of them go come. I tell people all the time, this fight ain't going to be as tactical as people think. When people sit up there and be like, oh, it turns Bud Crawford house more in this two box. You know, he can do more. He showed me more. You know, people be like, you know, Earl Spence has more. He just ain't show us. You know what I'm saying? It take that right person to bring it up out of him. Let me tell y'all, fam. This fight is going to be a dogger. It's going to be a dogger. You feel me? They going in there, they going to go at it, bro. Once that bell go ding, ding, we in for a fucking treat. We in for a treat. Flat out. We in for a treat. You know what I'm saying? And it's going down. EJ, he ready. Mentally, he ready. He's in one of the best shapes of his life, right? He's in a, a, a great mind state. And he that hungry EJ again. Like I told y'all, Andre Ward said he's a man on a mission. 
the way he went out there and attacked his training camp, the way he been keeping the weight down. You understand? All the things that people criticize him on, he criticized himself even harder to where it made him get on this shit, to understand that you can't take this game for granted. You can't take life for granted. You can't take your career for granted. You are blessed. God bless you with a, with a gift and a talent for you to go out there and, and do something special in this world. Do something special in this world and be something special in this world. Leave a legacy behind for you, but not only you, for your children as well, man. For your children as well. Two beautiful little daughters and you got a handsome young son that you got to go out there and put on for. Same for Terrence Boy Crawford, beautiful family he got on there where he can go out there and put on for. You know what I'm saying? So EJ caught on to that. He understand, like, you know what? I can't fuck this up, bro. I can't. You know what I'm saying? I could have been paralyzed. I could have been dead. I could have had a leg or an arm fucking amputated. I could have lost a finger. I could have lost an eye. I could have anything, bro. Anything from a, from a terrible crash that he was in. Anything could happen to EJ, bro. But the good Lord blessed that man. Where he came out with a few nicks and knacks, some swelling, some, some bruises, some broken teeth. Everything that can be fixed. Everything that can be fixed. You know what I'm saying? And he healed himself up. And he heard all the critics and the haters and the naysayers. The ones that said he was done. The ones that said he'll never be the same. He'll never come back. He shouldn't take a Danny Garcia fight. That's too tough of a fight. Oh, he's crazy. Um, You know, he need to show his hand. You know, they said a lot of things about EJ. A lot. And he proved them all wrong, bro. He proved them all wrong. And when he proved them wrong, guess what? Nobody came back and apologized to that king, bro. All them cats that was doubting him, all the critics, all the naysayers, all the haters, they never came back and apologized to that man for working his way back in shape, for doubting him. They call him drunks. They call him undisciplined. They call him everything but the child of God and didn't want to get that man his just doing his credit. But he took that shit from him. He took it from him. You know what I'm saying? And I know they got that, that, that shit taste in their mouth to where they don't like it. They don't like it because any normal man or any normal woman would have came back and praised that man for doing what he had to do. Period. Period, bro. Andre Ward see it. He know what EJ is. You know what I'm saying? He been at the top of the game for forever since he started fighting. So he know how hard it is to stay at the top. He know how hard it is to get yourself up in the grind every fucking day to get ready for the best of the best in this boxing game. Knowing you got people hating on you. Knowing you got critters out there that's waiting on your downfall that want you to lose so they can point the fucking finger and say, I told you so. You understand what I'm saying? But EJ won't get any satisfaction to, to point that finger at him so he get up every day and work his ass off. He got his loved ones around him, got his family around him, his kids, the ones that, that really mean something, the trill ones that really got your back. You know what I'm saying? That really got your back when you wake up in the morning and you can call up on them to be there every day regardless of what goes on in life, regardless of what goes on in your career. You know what I'm saying? Outside of fans, fake-ass fans, even the real fans, outside of all that shit, the ones that's going to be there for you at the end, it's your goddamn family. Earl Spence knows that, bro. He knows that. And he attaches himself to those people that mean him well. You know what I'm saying? That's an asset and not a liability, bro. But EJ is back on this shit. He's back on it. Shouts out to Andre Ward for giving him praise as he always did, even when he used to go out with Tim Bradley about this fight. You know what I mean? Shouts out to Terrence Bull Crawford for standing on this shit and not falling off and doing everything he has to do to get to the stage to fight Earl Spence for Undisputed. Now we heard, baby. Now we heard. The biggest fight in boxing going down. Arguably November the 19th. All the marbles. All the marbles. Somebody always got to go. Somebody will be crowned the number one pound for pound fighter you know what I'm saying somebody will be crowned and it's going to be Earl Truth Spence Jr. if you ask me but turns Bill Crawford damn sure got a shot I will never say that man don't have a shot this is that type of fight is a 50-50 you know what I'm saying both of them never seen uh, uh, each other Earl Spence never seen the Bud Bud never seen the Earl Spence the styles go clash they go match they go get in there they go make their adjustments and the best man will come out victorious the best man will come out victorious. Gonna be one hell of a fight, man. I can't wait. Shouts out to Andre Ward for keeping it real, keeping it real. Giving Earl Spence his, his proper respect that a, that a legend should give to another future Hall of Famer. You know what I'm saying? Not trying to turn him down or, or diminish his skill set. You feel me? And I can respect that, bro. Shouts out to Bud. Shouts out to EJ. Shouts out to Ward. Can't wait for this fight, everybody. If you can't make it, bad pay-per-view.
These dudes deserve it. Let's get it. Until then, it's your boy Monty's the NSBC moving and everybody safe in these streets. Hit them thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. You want to donate OG Money on Cash App? Trey out the fit to a gmail.com or PayPal. If not, just tell a friend, tell a friend, hit that subscribe button, like, comment, share the videos. And y'all know how your boy get down, man. Big dog status, family.